Hello and welcome to Introduction to Physical Chemistry 2. This is the second of a three sequence uh, co of courses on uh, the basic foundation of physical chemistry. Now I want to alert you that this is not a physical chemistry course, a typical physical chemistry course that would be sort of the junior or senior level in uh, chemistry major. Uh, instead this is a combination of general chemistry and general physics with an eye towards developing uh, the skills we need to study more advanced physical chemistry later in our curriculum. So um, I'm Darren Olness. I'm a, a professor in the chemistry department at Concordia College in Moorhead, Minnesota, here in the United States. And I've been teaching chemistry for 25 years. Nearly every one of the, those years I've taught physical chemistry. I've also taught uh, general chemistry many times. As of late, I've been teaching general physics. I've also taught in the neuroscience program and also uh, I teach uh, courses in advanced uh, mathematics. So um, I live my scientific life according to this quote that tends to be in every uh, physical chemistry book and that is a quote by G.N. Lewis uh, that states uh, the sentiment that every uh, that physical chemistry is everything that's interesting and I think you want to look at that in a broad from a broad perspective and that is that learning chemistry uh, learning physical chemistry and the way to think about nature as a physical chemist uh, is really liberating and it allows you to study everything that uh, everything about nature uh, that you find interesting and so I hope that as you go through this this course and then into the more advanced courses that we're putting together here uh, that you start to uh, develop that uh, type of uh, type of thinking and reap the rewards of uh, a life in science and in particular a life in physical chemistry all right for this course uh, the prerequisites are, uh, I think you really need to be uh, quite comfortable with algebra and uh, trigonometry from high school. It'd be nice if you had chemistry, a good strong chemistry class and physics class in high school, although not strictly necessary. Um, if you've had either one of these, uh, then uh, you know that, that should be sufficient. Uh, and even if you haven't, uh, might just take a little bit more uh, effort on your part, but uh, you can get there. And then finally, uh, if you've had some calculus, great. Uh, you'll see where that is used. We aren't going to inherently use calculus, although there's times where it's uh, unavoidable. And at those in those cases, I'll try to be careful to say, uh, if you've had calculus, you can follow along here for the next few minutes. And if you haven't cal had calculus, just uh, hang on for the ride, pop out the other side, and um, we'll work with the results. Uh, as ter in terms of the course materials, uh, I've got a PDF of my notes and uh, that covers a lot of what we're talking about here. There'll be a couple of things in the notes that aren't on the board here, a couple of things that I talk about on the board that aren't in the notes, but more or less uh, we follow that uh, relatively closely. Most of the uh, individual lectures in the notes carry with them a section uh, called a self-quiz and then also a homework session, a section, so a chance to um, work a few extra problems uh, related to what we're talking about. But I also really, really encourage you to pick up a general chemistry book. Any general chemistry book will do, even one from the 1970s. Uh, same with general physics. Now, let me say a few things here. There, you, you want to be careful that you buy a standard general chemistry book, not something called uh, general organic biochem. Uh, that's, that's a book that um, really isn't... Um, the type of general chemistry that you want. So just a sort of classic college chemistry book. And with physics, there's really two varieties here uh, you run into. One is a uh, algebra-based physics, so non-calc-based physics. Uh, that's what we're going to be uh, primarily focused with in this course. And then the other is a calculus calculus-based uh, physics book. If you've had some calculus, uh, you might want to pick up that calc book. You'll notice that we'll cover most of the principles that are in there, but there will be some uh, that uh, we won't do. And there'll be just things that 
we, we won't be able to take things quite as far or use examples that um, require a lot of calculus. So uh, if you come to this course with strong calculus, uh, maybe choose that book. Those books are usually entitled um, Physics for uh, uh, physics for scientists and engineers or university physics uh, books uh, that are non-calc based are usually called general physics or general college physics um, and uh, those that again would be would be sufficient for this course all right so as I mentioned in the beginning this is the second of three courses the first course uh, if you uh, haven't come through that that was focused primarily on the molecular level the second course is going to be focused primarily on the beaker level, although we will talk uh, certainly about molecules uh, and their interactions, but we'll be talking more about macroscopic um, material. And then the third, we'll sort of do both. Uh, we're going to uh, talk a little bit more about electromagnetism and um, different properties of materials. And between the all three of these, we'll have covered a good portion of what one would cover in uh, two semesters of general chemistry and two semesters of uh, general physics. And we'll have laid a, a foundation that will allow us to go into the core courses in physical chemistry, such as quantum mechanics, statistical mechanics, thermodynamics, uh, to do some applications. And I'm hoping on uh, our uh, uh, our community here to have a wide range of applications. Uh, there are a few already uh, in place, but uh, hopefully having a, a lot more of those. And then finally, um, we'll get to some very advanced material, uh, all the way up to um, research level, uh, research level material. All right, uh, you can. Again, you can find uh, our, our material at darrenolness.com uh, and then look for the GNL project uh, or on YouTube, GNL project. Uh, since we have to dig in a, a, a couple of layers here, I will put the link in the description of this playlist and it will also be in the description of every video in, in the playlist.